Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, a little bit of a different video today, trying new things. Uh, but I'm doing an unboxing of my self today. Oh, look at this a fine lady. You see a little bit of cosplay. Ooh. <laughs> All right, catch you later. It's unboxing time. I have uh, two Persona Figmas over here. I have Panther and Joker and then Joker came with Morgana, so I kind of just have them, I guess the size reference for later. And then I also have this other Futaba figure, she's a 1 7 scale, but this is the box, it's very reflective -y. there's a lot of plastic, so I can't really like show it that well in my lighting setup, but this is what it comes with, it has the official uh, Atlas Sega sticker, and of course there's an alarm, cool, thank you. Um, <laughs> but what I noticed is they actually call this one Oracle. I know that they call Futaba Sakura Oracle in the English version of the game, and maybe that's why they decided to go with Oracle. Um, I played the Japanese version of the game, so I'm very used to her nickname being Navi, like navigation and I think it's way cuter than Oracle but this is the side of the box pretty cute uh, the back has all all the fancy she comes with her laptop um, the little like text code that goes around her she got two extra face plates you see all in Japanese or a little bit English they have her laptop. This is kind of cool to see this up close in person instead of like, you know, cutscenes and all that. Here's the top. Oh yeah, they did label this Persona 5 anime or the anime. Okay. <laughs> I think they did that or, or they are doing that with all of them possibly. I don't know. I'd have to relook at the Jokers, but yeah. So that's the box. We're going to open this up. Of course, I forgot my scissors. They're kind of dull, so it's kind of a bad job, but honestly, I don't care too much about the boxes. I don't display the boxes, I keep them for like moving purposes. Um, but some boxes are pretty cool. This one, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I love red and I do love neon green, but together, it's, it's interesting. Ooh, okay. Oh man, this comes in a lot. Alright, that's the box. If you care, whoop de woo, I'm gonna toss it. Alright. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff I can't read. Caution parts. Alright. I feel like that's new, I don't remember that. And then they have faceplate details for some reason. Oh. Are the goggles and glasses attached to the hair? That's gonna be interesting. There's not much going on in this box. Oh, looks like that fell out. Oh, so we have the text in a plastic. Interesting. So we got the cool, uh, like, techie stuff. Okay, that... It looks like you just, it has like two little slits and you put them in like this. Okay, that, that is cheap. I don't like this. <laughs> I thought it'd be like a harder plastic, not just like some random whatever packaging plastic. Okay, it shows here, like it kind of looks like it's like a circle and maybe like a, like a half circle, like you click it together or something. Like I thought it'd be more like that, not like literally a piece of plastic honestly kind of disappointed about that um you can feel the texture on the outside of the printing um so it's probably prone to scratches possibly but um i don't even know if i want to display this because it's just so like cheap i don't like it i guess if i glue it It'll look okay, but like, look at this. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Sorry, on. Like, what? Okay, whatever. Alright. Oh. 
plastic is actually like what the okay that's like a first you it's all really wrapped around a bit here so there's all the cool amazing stuff underneath they have the standing pans which we'll grab out as well always figma they come with a bag whoop de woo Okay, this is interesting. It looks like there's extra... Oh, okay. It has a joint for the cheap plastic thing. Maybe that will help it out. As standard, it comes with a joint, stands, hands. These hands are cool because they're unique. They have a little, little look at them. Looks like we got like a oh a computer holding hand okay that one's new got a thumbs up which is cute little hand little typing hands kind of yeah and then some holding hands and some fists all right that's pretty cool not mad at that oh oh that's a lot of pieces jesus okay so they have this contraption <laughs> there's that oh maybe this will hold it flat <laughs> trying to figure this out on camera that's that's a struggle okay i guess that helps it it doesn't look as bad okay it might be usable now and then you got an extra hand joint all right so i could really want to look at this laptop <laughs> comes in a single piece of plastic and this is what it looks like. I wish that this screen actually had some like binary or like something like this on it so it would look cooler. But the back looks dope. I love the back. Just the front is like what? And let's look at these little faces. Oh wow, okay, the faces have part of the like neck piece to her suit thing. They have it on the chin area. Well, her extra hair piece. Oh, okay. It's soft. It's good. It's not so prone to like breaking. Now, the actual important part, the figure. And then screw all that. All right, got the little plastic keys. Well, only in her arm joints. Interesting. Maybe they're doing less packaging. I don't know the last time I got a Figma, honestly. Okay, so this is her in all her glory. Oh, it, oh wow, okay. <laughs> the hair oh man that's honestly kind of rough you could ugh, that's like really awkward oh man I honestly don't know how I would style it from the back oh that looks so like look at it like I have like the ball joints but this that cut looks like ridiculous. Get a zoom in on her face. This is her standard face. And this is her alternate hair. What I love about the um, glasses is they're very shiny reflective which is very iconic to the game she has a little it looks like she has an extra like chest joint which i love when they do that it's amazing um detail wise okay oh okay Ooh, <laughs> oh, these are interesting ball joints right here they look really awkward if you bend it at a 90 Oof, yeah, those look bad at a 90. If you do a slight bend, those are really big ball joints. Like, you see Ons and how... 
sorry, Panthers. <laughs> and like, yeah, this is like bent at a 90, but they still did a pretty good job with the design where it doesn't look too clunky. But these look really awkward. <laughs> Man, I feel like I'm being really picky, but honestly, I'm just telling you my true opinions, and this is me, like, the first time unboxing it, so... Oh, man! <laughs> it looks like they have the little, like, extra straps. They're, like, a different... They're, like, the hair material, so they're kind of stretchy, so I don't have to worry about that breaking. Um, I love the, the glove detail. These joints, not too bad. They're pretty hidden. And then elbow, elbow, okay, it's it's not too bad. Usually the elbow joints are pretty bad anyway on Figma's in my opinion, but not too shabby. Yee. Oh, check the feet. And they do have those really, really big ball joints. But it's not too bad since you can't really bend the feet all that much. So it's not that bad. I would just say like this is ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> so her range of mo movement for her like calf area is kind of difficult because it does connect with this. Yeah, you can't move um, these little straps off. Um, and then it looks like her, she's pretty free in that type of movement. Alright. Cool, look at that range of motion. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. So overall, she feels pretty solid, for sure. Um, some of the joints, you already know. And I, honestly, I cannot stand the hair. And then, of course, these are stuck to her face part, so they are always sticking out, which is kind of annoying because it's not even, like, close to her body, as you can see. Oh, this hair is just... You know what? For reference, let me grab something. So I just pulled <laughs> this girl out of my display. Uh, I do need to do some dusting so she is a little bit on the dusty side i haven't dusted in a minute but um this is raven from gravity rush 2 specifically that's what it says on the box but she's also in gravity rush 1 gravity rush is a playstation exclusive game well and there's two of them obviously but why i pulled this girl out is because she has very long hair and she's a figma and my hand is shaking. And look at this design that they did. She has a ball joint, like right under here. And she has a second ball joint as well, like right under there. Well, it's like, not really. There's just a ball joint here and then there's like a giant like swivelly thing like right in here. But see how it's all like tucked away? So then when you look at the figure from behind, yeah, you do kind of see the chunky outline, but it still looks nice. And you can turn the hair however you want it, any direction, have it stack on itself, twist it, 360. You can literally have it however you want, and it looks good from any angle. And I'm just looking at this hair design, and then I'm looking at Futaba's. Like, you see there's a big difference? Like, this is definitely hiding the ball joint aspect. And this is just like, bro, I can literally see the ball joints right there. Like this, like, this is just not, like, presentable, honestly, in the back. It looks really bad. Just had to get that off my chest on why I'm like, what the heck is with this hair? And, like, all these extra little, like, danglies that, that just don't really help out anything when this is, like, so well done. Like, what the heck? Oh, wow, look at that scale. Raven's pretty tall, though. 
but yeah that's a bit like come on i feel like i'm not alone <laughs> comment below if you agree <laughs> back into futaba review so i'm gonna show the scale real quick sorry you guys look so cool and i guess we're gonna because why not <laughs> that's pretty cool so they can all like stand together and be different sizes that's great her feet look like they have or maybe that's just the shoe design oh yeah you can't move them thought they they might have like a little extra move part because they're cut so deep but i guess you can't do that okay well i don't know what i would have done with that extra effect anyway oh and a cool note is she, since she actually has big shoes she can stand by herself which is lit because i cannot stand these stands <laughs> this is what it looks like with her little mask on Ooh, yes i like that a lot actually wow i really like the detail it does look like she'd be typing something you can see the joint in her fingers, you know? For, like the little bones. Compared to like the standard little like flat hands. That's cool. That's adorable. Yeah, <laughs> that's really adorable. Her laptop holding hand. Oh man, I got her to hold it. Um, but yeah, that... I don't know if I'd recommend a holding pose, cause there's no, like, support at all. Oh. Hmm. I guess. Interesting. Hold up, let me try. Oh man. <laughs> okay, there is her holding it. Well, as you saw, when I touched it, she instantly dropped. This is just, you can definitely like pose it, holding it, but it might fall. So don't freak out when that falls. And, uh, I would say, <laughs> to the, that, to that. But yay, escape. So you've seen what I've seen. Now it's up to you if you want to go through with that pre-order or if you want to buy it later, whenever you're watching this. I also have the, the Nendroid of Futaba. The whoop. <laughs> she is a cutie. I always have her on my desk. Oh, her glasses look weird. Oh, there we go. But that's my little cutie Nendroid version and she can have her glasses taken off. But she doesn't have that cool reflective that the Figma has. So there's that. Alright, that concludes my video today. We had some ups, we had some downs, but yeah, this is, this is, this is me in my palace uniform. Ooh. <laughs> well, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.